Direct method. The direct method of teaching or natural method used in teaching foreign languages. It doesn't use the learner's native language and uses only the target language. The goal is to learn how to use a foreign language to communicate. And there is one very basic rule. No translation is allowed. Origin of Direct Method Direct method was established in England around 1900. And it contrasts with the grammar translation method. It was adopted by key international language schools in the 1970s. Here are four advantages of direct method. 1. Pronunciation improves. It can help your pronunciation clearer and better. 2. Good for teaching words. It is the best way for teaching vocabulary such as words and idioms. 3. Having good fluency. It helps the learners in having good fluency because you don't need to think when speaking, just speak out. 4. Getting confidence. Students feel encouraged when speaking English as you don't need to translate anything in your brain. These are three disadvantages of direct method. 1. Emphasizing on listening and speaking skills. For some students who want to learn reading and writing, this method will never work for you. 2. Requiring native teachers. It requires a high level of language competence in teachers, because teachers must use English all the time. And number 3. Must use English only. So, it would be quite hard for those students whose first language is not English. Demonstration Good morning, students! Good morning, teacher! How are you today? I'm okay! Okay, I see you. You look very, very happy today. Yeah. So, today we are going to learn about the fruits. Okay, do you know what is the fruits? I know. Okay, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you what is the fruits. So, we have six fruits for today. And the first fruit is apple. Apple. Repeat after me. Apple. Apple. I like to eat apple. I like to eat apple. Yes, very good. You like to eat apple? Yes. Okay, and the next one. Watermelon. Or uh, American uh, accent, you can pronounce, pronounce this word like watermelon. Watermelon. Water water okay. I like to eat watermelons. I like to eat watermelons. Okay. And the next one. Do you know what is this? Orange. Yeah, absolutely. This is an orange. Orange. Repeat after me. Orange. 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 I like to eat orange. I like to eat orange. Okay. And the next one. This is... Do you know? What is this? Banana. Ah. Yeah, exactly. Banana. 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 I like to eat bananas. I like to eat bananas. Yes, very good. And the next one. What is this? Yeah, exactly. Givi. 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 I like to eat kiwi. I like to eat kiwi. Yeah, correct. And um, this is, I think this is probably the last one for today. This is a pineapple. 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 Uh, I like to eat pineapple. I like to eat pineapple. Yeah, very good. Clap your hands. So finally, there is a quote that I really love for you. If you wish to learn a language, 
then we should try to recreate the conditions that we learn our native language in. Thank you, 